Good morning, y'all. <clears throat> Do y'all know what today is? Do you guys know what today is? Today is the day. The moment that you all been waiting for. Today I get to cook! Woof. Okay, let me get up and let me get started. Now that I'm in something a little comfy, let me just repeat myself. Your favorite foodie is in the kitchen, y'all. This is not a gimmick. This is not a, a pump fake. Your girl's actually going to be cooking today. And I am excited about this because one of my 2021 resolutions for myself is learning how to cook. Now, backstory and disclaimer, my friends, my family, my mom, my dad, my sister, and my close-knit family, um, my grandma, everybody actually, I feel like I'm not even going to front, can actually cook. But um, me being a foodie and an avid uh, food venture person, um, I never really took the time to learn how to cook for myself also like surrounded with so many people who can cook I just yeah never really had to um but it's something that I do need to learn and uh because it's not always a takeout thing and so today is the day mark your calendars this is when you see me attempt my first meal now my Good good girls, Shelly and Nay, um, have been posting the most luscious and delectable food on TikTok and basically showing people, you know, how to make that stuff. So I came across a TikTok that they made and they added me and said, girl, this is your time to shine. We believe in you. This is what you can make. So I'm gonna insert TikTok here. So you can see what I'm gonna be making today. And then you're gonna see my process and see if I can complete it and make it taste yummy. I'm very, very excited about this. So uh, comment down below if you think it's gonna be a success. Comment down below if you believe in me. Comment down below if you're proud of me. I wanna hear y'all. <laughs> Is this exciting or what? <laughs> All right, so I am not trying to uh, fail out here. I'm very serious about this. So when they came up with the recipe for me to recreate, I immediately called them and, you know, got the ingredients and measurements. Now, I'm not, uh, as I said, I'm not a cook yet, but I will be. But I'm not one of those people who could mad dash, sprinkle in everything and just know what it tastes like. Um, I need measurements. I need measurements. So uh, I might seem a little OCD about measurements and stuff like that because I really wanted to taste amazing and I really wanted to live up to its name, the recipe's name. But um, yeah. There wasn't really measurements because they're actually chefs in the kitchen. They're actually cooks. But we're going to improvise. I got a little bit of measurements and all the ingredients noted down. So I'm going to go through my kitchen and make sure I have everything and then display it out for you. All right. Here's my handy dandy book. Let's go. All right, y'all. So the first things that I got because I wanted to make sure I had everything was the spices. These girls cook with flavor and color so i want to live up to the name so yeah 
Um, the regular spice that you need, black pepper, of course. Okay, I got this salt, sea salt, but <laughs> I found the actual salt in my household. So some, some salt here. Oops. And paprika. So I got some paprika in here. Some turmeric, just a little bit, just enough. And then um, for, I don't know, this looked interesting because I needed garlic. It has paprika and cayenne, like a Cajun spice. So I might use this for uh, the fries or the side. I don't know. But I realized we had so many spices in the, in the cupboard. Um, I didn't have to go out and get any of this stuff. So that's perfect. All right, so now that I got the spices from the cupboard, the next step is to check my fridge to make sure I have all the ingredients. Um, definitely can't survive without the ground beef. That will be in the freezer or any meat. I think that I have ground turkey or ground chicken, so I might use that instead just to switch it up a little bit. But ooh, I had to get scallion, garlic, parsley, coriander I had to, I'm not gonna lie I had to look up what coriander was because I don't remember I used to work at a grocery store but these things some of these things I don't remember what they are um, um pimento paste is the one thing that I have to have to ask my madre if we have we might have it in the nook somewhere um, I thought we would have it in the spice cabinet but maybe not so I'm gonna recheck if we don't have it I'll go grab some and uh, you can come with me but uh, yeah, let me look for the rest of the stuff and go from there. So first and foremost, what did I say? Okay, this is thyme, not coriander. Uh, I don't know how this garlic business works. I guess you just take a loaf. Loaf? Clove? I'm like a loaf. It's not bread. Um, okay, I'm going to take a clove. Garlic. Would pimento paste, when you open it, be in the fridge instead? Mm. It's jerk seasoning, so not pimento paste. Okay, so, so far we got that garlic. And onions and scallion so scallion green onion whichever you call it we got that green onion baby we got that garlic baby i didn't show you so i'm showing you we got that garlic okay they said yellow or white onions Yellow or white? It's not the onion drawer, Unique. <laughs> Promise you I know where stuff is in my fridge. Ugh, a little down here. Okay. We're gonna need potatoes later, but I won't get those yet. I wonder if I can use red onion, because it looks like that's all we have. So I'm gonna take that out. Red onions always slap, but I feel like that's the topping more than being in the actual burger. So I might call them and ask them, <laughs> will it alter the taste if I use onion, red onion? Boop, boop, boop. And this is what I'll probably top my burger with. Okay, I got the garlic. Now, they put red chili or hot pepper, so I have to check for that. Parsley, pimento paste, salt, pepper, I have that. These are the instructions. Oh, so I gotta get the ground beef. All right. Ground beef should be in the freezer. Let me check to see what I actually got. Ooh, plant-based sausage. 
but that's not what I'm gonna use. I feel like that will complicate things. So, I have lean ground turkey. I'm actually gonna ask them as well if they think that will be good. I don't know, maybe turkey comes out dry. Or I will use the ground beef. Yeah, I'm gonna call and ask them. All right, lovelies, so my mom put the ground beef to thaw out because I just left it out to thaw and she's like, if you wanna make it a speedier process uh, and have these burgers today, you gotta do it a little quicker. So while that's happening, I have to go get some additional ingredients. Ugh. I took a picture of my list of things that I need. So I'm off to my nearest grocery store to get those things. Um. Yep, I should be wearing a jacket. Uh, it's definitely chilly, I'm not gonna lie. It's cold. Uh, the f weather forecast uh, is accurate, <laughs> but uh, it's sunny out, so that's cute. I love to see it. Oh, looks like your girl needs a little gas. When I make it to the grocery store, that is the question. Let me turn. All right, I'll see you when I get there. All right, y'all, I'm pulling up to my nearest grocery store to get the rest of the stuff. What is basket? Here goes the thing. So y'all, um, I'm on the hunt for pimento paste because I don't even know what aisle it would be in. It's in a jar, I know that. But yeah, that's what I'm on the hunt for. My mom just asked for bacon. Little did she know is that uh, bacon was gonna be one of my toppings, so say no more. <laughs> Exciting. If you made it this far, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Found the bacon. <laughs> Still looking for pimento paste. Okay, stuff in a jar. I feel like I'm on a wild goose chase out here. I found tomato paste, but no pimento paste. All right, all right, let's get back in the kitchen. All right, all right, let's get back in the kitchen. Let me prompt y'all up. Prompt? All right, got some snacks too. Guys, skinny pop. <laughs> Is the best popcorn. It slaps. Anyways, that has nothing to do with what I'm making. So let me put that over here. This is about lettuce. Realized that I needed bread. So I got ciabatta bread. Kind of. Burger buns. And as you saw, I got the bacon. And these are also my favorite snacks. That's really all I needed. And, oh, sorry, one last thing. The peppers. All right, y'all, so the ground beef is almost done thawing out, so I decided in the meantime to get the rest of the ingredients kind of prepared. Um, obviously, wash your hands, and I am gonna consult my handy dandy book. <laughs> this is literally saving my life. I'm glad I took notes. All right, y'all, I had took a little intermission to get more insight and to peel most of the stuff because I didn't want you guys to see me struggle do that. But yeah, I got my scallion. Uh, they said to use half of one. I mean, we like onions, so, and for the amount of meat that I thought out, I think I might have to use a full one. And same for the onion. I mean, we have one 
half of a red onion depending how I am able to chop it um, we'll see how much we'll put in we like onion in terms of the garlic as well like um, you know the measurements are based off of their experience cooking so I'm probably gonna change a bit of it just because I'm cooking for me my mom my sis and it's a little bit more so I know I have to put more um, so I got my garlic loaves peeled I'm gonna chop these and so what had happened was guys I know what a scotch bonnet is I do and I know what a chili pepper is I don't know I think maybe I was just flustered and so you guys can see what I got <laughs> I definitely think this is a scotch bonnet. So um, with that being said, they said to put half. I'm going to gauge it. And my mom cautioned me not to put the seeds in. I feel like I know that because this will bun off your mouth. So yeah, I'm going to try chopping tin some of these things and uh, see how it goes. And then the meat should be ready. The ground beef should be ready in a jiffy. Let me try and bring y'all closer to the board so you can see how I chop I mean mm, I tried to sharpen the knife didn't work so I honestly don't know if I cut off enough of the bottom of this but I'm just gonna go with it mm. So, how do you, I'm guessing you have to cut off the ends of the garlic, because them bad boys be tough. My mom says she likes garlic, and I do too, so. We're going in for a little bit more garlic. Hopefully you guys can see. I'll, I'll show you a closer look of how I chopped everything in terms of how finely chopped I get it. Uh, how do I approach this? How do I approach this? Like those, like this. That seems like two big pieces. Is that how garlic looks? Oh boy. Right? This seems huge. Uh, maybe I could do them all at the same time. The onions definitely are burning my eyes, but we move. Red onion, pepper, scotch bonnet. We have our garlic. And we could go ham with the garlic. We probably will put more. And then our scallion, AKA green onion. Hello. <laughs> Hello to the people, yes. These are the chefs. <laughs> the pimento paste. 
was a struggle. I saw everything but pimento paste, which was weird. I went through all the We're aisles. So sad about pimento paste for you. you what? We're so sad about the pimento paste for you because it's pretty prime, but we know it's still gonna be cute. That's okay. what I'm saying. I'm like, I know I need this, and I'm like, well, I don't. I'm not good enough. Not not. I'm not good enough. But I don't know what could have been an alternative to the pimento paste because I'm like, I don't. I feel like this is a specific flavor. So I'm like, tomato paste is not gonna work. I seen like yeah. this whole brand of like random paste. All it said was paste, 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 paste. And I'm just like, how do they not have pimento paste? I know pimento paste is more popular. I've heard of it before. I'm not for it. It's not foreign to me. But yeah, and the coriander also. That was a miss. Because I don't even know what that is. No coriander? <laughs> yeah. There's <laughs> just powdered cilantro, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So you could have yeah. even like put cilantro in, but that's just doing a lot. You know? Yeah, I think that was for the fries. Oh, for the fries, you mean? okay yes you're right you're right you're right you're right okay 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 i feel a little bit better okay yeah you're good we don't make the burgers the same way every time anyway so it's gonna be sexy perfect and then i realized that my mom is like a hoarder of all spices uh known to man so i wanted to run this by you <laughs> So she has this, um, what is this called? I want to show the people them. It's ca it's cayenne, paprika, and garlic. Do you think that could go with the 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 um fries instead? Because it's like a like mixture. It's a, com it's a combo. Yeah, do it. Just dust it though. Don't go heavy on it because the cayenne will burn your nose. <laughs> So now I just have to go in for the kill. I'm just literally sweating. You guys don't understand. I'm nervous because I don't know why. I think it's because I'm a perfectionist at heart that I feel like every step has to be exactly on point where it should be so that it comes out the way it tastes. But technically, I don't know how it tastes. So it's going to work out. And, and to cheat a little bit, I got bacon because if you just add bacon to anything... That will add a little <laughs> pizzazz. <laughs> like, you can't go that wrong. Labor <laughs> <salt. Yeah. laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm doing. And lastly, I got, uh, what is this? Chiabata buns <laughs> to make it cute. So I'm trying my darndest. Wow, you're really <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> well, I'll let you know, I'll send you a picture of the final result. Now let's assemble it. Sprinkle in the onions, a little salt bay moment. Dropping the rest of the ingredients in, got that scallion, got that onion, got that garlic, and got that pepper. So we're gonna get the dry ingredients, the spices up in that as well. Okay, so for the turmeric, they did mention putting a half tablespoon, no, half teaspoon, half teaspoon. Um, this is a teaspoon and considering how much meat is in here, I'm gonna put a full one. So boop, boop, boop. Hopefully that's okay. And then Paprika, a teaspoon. So I'm gonna get the paprika. Paprika. <laughs> so I'm gonna, ooh, the paprika smells amazing. I might put a little bit more. Little bit, little bit more. All right, y'all. Black pepper. Ooh, I love this. <laughs> and some salt. I don't know. I'm just gonna eyeball it, like they say. It's not too much. Uh, I feel like that's enough salt. Ooh, this is like a mountain of color. So now it's time for me to mix it this and uh, hope for the best from here on out. All right, so you guys are propped back up. Wash, wash, wash. So I guess now all I gotta do is mix it with my hand. Good. 
because I've never touched food like this before. Alright, I want to show you guys. I think that is mixed well. So now I'm just gonna get parchment paper to basically mold them. And they said mold it and then put it in the fridge for like half an hour so that, you know, it's it holds. So I will follow their instructions to a T. All right, so I did not have parchment paper, so I used tin foil. So I need to move y'all a little lower, maybe, so that you can see. It's not about me, it's about the food. And I have a measuring cup to, measuring, measuring, yeah, it's a measuring cup to um, mold the burgers, I guess. So I'm just gonna dig in to make, to make sure that they're like virtually the same size. This is one big guy. Okay, maybe that's too much. Let me bring the bowl closer. Do I just put it in a circle, guys? Uh. Gonna be a thick burger here. They're ready to go. I don't have a grill. I thought I had a little grill to make the grill marks, but I don't, so I'm just gonna I guess fry it. Does that make sense? Little number four. I'm gonna cut into it to see if I got the cook time okay. It might fall apart, but that's all right. These are thick guys, so I, I know I want to do a little cut, but that doesn't seem like that is the vibe. Uh, <laughs> what do you think? I think that maybe a little bit more. All right, y'all. So I started plating the burger. Here is mine with that juicy bacon on top. Uh, lettuce, onion, too lazy to cut tomato, but I feel like it would do it justice. And then I'm gonna get my condiments and drizzle it on top and then bite in to it. So I caved and put on the tomatoes and my sauces. I'm gonna assemble this, take a bite, and let you know how it tastes. All right, y'all. I got my burger. It's a thickums. So I'm going to bite into it and let you know how it tastes. I mean, I'll be honest with myself. If I don't like it, I don't like it. My family is great. <laughs> They're eating theirs. <laughs> Definitely. Didn't get a piece of the burger yet. But my toppings, though. <laughs> Let's try again. It's good. I think that mm, for my first try, it's good. Um, I definitely, first bite, did not taste the scotch bonnet. So I don't think it's too spicy yet. Mm -mm. It's nice. It's, like, subtle. It's not... It your mouth is not going to be on fire. Mm -hmm. The bacon. Mm -hmm. It's a good choice. <laughs> all in all, you guys, 
the flavor was pretty good and I'm very, very proud of myself. I accomplished something that I've been putting off for a very long time and I'm definitely not going to stop the momentum. I'm going to be in the kitchen more often. The flavor was great. I didn't make a side, but next time I will. All in all, yay, it's a success. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Shelly and Nay, for being my first teachers. I'm very excited for what's to come. And if you guys enjoyed, again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and comment down below if you'd like to let me know what you want to see me make next. See you in the next video.